Hi, this is Matt from TracyMac.co.uk and inside this large box that overfills the frame we have the Gigabyte M912 uh, which is actually a laptop device which I'll just unpack quickly from the box so that you can get a better view. Okay. Okay, this is a 9 inch screen device which is of a similar size to the uh, Asus PC and the MSI Wind, that style of device. As you can see, nice 9 inch display on the front there, which does in fact fill the majority of the screen rather than having speakers either side um, as on the HP Mini Note. Um, what, what is interesting about this device is that it is a tablet and it will rotate, so you can use it as a tablet touch screen device or you can turn the screen back around and use it as a conventional laptop style device with the QWERTY keyboard um, which is a nice uh, twist if you like on the small form factor devices that are coming out at the moment the market is getting somewhat saturated I guess with devices from um, Advent and MSI and so on so let's uh, have a look at what else is in the box and I'll come back to the device in a second there is a carrying case Inside of which you have the user manual, spare stylus, CD-ROM with uh, drivers and uh, utilities and so on. The case itself is pretty decent. It's obviously exactly the right size for the M912. Uh, it says the gigabyte on the front there, and there is a carrying strap, uh, not actually an over-the-shoulder, but it isn't such a large device anyway. Also, you've got a charger which is obviously specific to the product itself and the mains cable for the charger that's pretty much all you have inside the box apart from the M912 so let's have a look that screen as I say is a 9 inch diagonal there's a front facing camera there for doing your video conferencing and that sort of stuff so let's poke in at the top here that's what's back in that's pretty secure so it's unlikely to fall out mechanism as I say is for rotate and open and close so in that position obviously we're looking at a more conventional laptop uh, keyboard is full QWERTY as you can see these are quite large they're probably about 90% of a full size keyboard um, and they are quite tactile, you could probably get quite used to that typing with obviously both hands, touch typing won't be much of an issue. There's also the touch pad with mouse buttons as you'd expect. And then closing up, we just pull off the protective cover. It actually has a nice glossy finish with an inlay graphics there and obviously the Gigabyte logo which makes it a little bit more interesting. Looking around the device, you have an Ethernet connector, USB, there's an SD card slot, and an Express card with a cover over it. Nothing particular on the front, there's a couple of indicator LEDs there. Power button switch, which is a spring-loaded type of affair. A couple of USB connectors, headphone, microphone, VGA output, and the connector for the mains adapter. On the bottom we have the battery which releases like that, it's not particularly large or heavy so the covers on the bottom work for upgrading RAM and so on. So that's the Gigabyte M912 in a quick summary. Let's Let me just tell you about the specification. Uh, it has an Intel Atom CPU at 1.6 GHz, the chipset is an, is an Intel 914. This particular model has 1 GB of RAM and 160 GB hard drive. This is an 80 key keyboard, as I mentioned, full QWERTY. Built in speakers, uh, built in Bluetooth 2.0. That front facing camera is 1.3 megapixel. There's also built in wireless LAN 802.11b and G. There's the Kensington lock on the side so that you can obviously hopefully prevent it from being stolen. And the battery itself is 4,500 milliamp hours, which has an estimated battery life of three and a half hours. Um, I'll comment on that in the review itself. Dimensions 235mm wide, 180mm back to front, and it ranges from 28 to 45mm in thickness.
And finally, the weight is only 1.3 kilograms. So not particularly heavy, attractive looking device with that added benefit of the tablet form factor. Um, we'll be reviewing it over the next week or so, and the review will be online soon.